travelers this is going to be your leo sun moon and rising video for july 2024 the reading is general so the messages will not resonate with everyone please check back your moon and rising sign video if you would like to book a personal reading with me you can now find my reading packages in the about box section of my channel but i've just noticed that the about box section has moved if you're on desktop, even if you're on handheld device, if you go to my channel, you underneath my custom link at the cards, hit the notice tarot. Beneath there is my name, Tarot Buffington, and to the right of that it is an arrow. If you click the arrow, it will open up the about box section. And there I have listed my reading packages to include the number of questions the number of minutes, the price, <coughs> excuse me, and the delivery method. Simply email me at the address you see here, hidden lotus tarot at gmail.com and say for instance, Tara, I would like a 45 minute reading. That's my most popular package, by the way. And I will respond back to you in the email with booking instructions and a payment link. Once you send back the booking instructions and I receive the payment, my turnaround time is 48 to 72 hours to produce the personal personal reading. I don't like to make people wait. Let me turn on some air in here. It's hot. Excuse me. It's been raining here like cats and dogs. And but only lasted just 24 hours. Um, we were expecting to get 10 to 15 inches of rain, but instead we got three and a half. I knew it wasn't gonna be like they said it was, but next week in the uh, next this coming weekend, we have another tropical storm development in the Gulf. I'm located in Corpus Christi, Texas, which is right on the Gulf. It's below Houston and below Victoria. Uh, it sits off kind of by itself. When I moved here, I never heard of Corpus Christi before, but it's a lovely little city. Um, and we haven't had a close call with the hurricane since 2017 when Hurricane Harvey came and it was a category five but at the last minute it took the jog and it hit north of us and so we escaped that time but I think that this year particularly with the NOAA Hurricane Center weather forecast hurricane forecast it's gonna be bad and I think I think we may may be in for a direct hit so we'll see so I have with me today the radiant white deck the La Vida Sibila for clarification should we need and we'll wrap the reading up with a golden Nostradamus you know the other day I was at the grocery store and I ran into a lady and she was asking me about my uh, compression leg sleeve sleeve that I was wearing and I gave her the link and everything. And she said to me, you know, I had a stroke five, six years ago. And she was wearing heels. And uh, her speech was just as clear. So I'm hoping that as time goes along, my speech will return a little clearer. Uh, somewhat like hers was. And maybe, maybe, Maybe I can wear heels again. We'll see. I wasn't a big fan of heels anyway. Uh, I gave all my super high heels away because when you get to a certain age, you just want to be comfortable. You know, you don't want anything bra, um, underwire bothering you, too tight clothes. 
you know, are your feet hurting? And so you just want to be comfortable. And she had on some comfortable wedges. And it was so cool to see her walking in them. I did not know she had had a stroke. So that gave me hope. Okay, let's turn that camera all around. And so we we'll, can get started with the reading. This will be a nine card spread. Hopefully there's not too much light. Let's see. I think I, I will turn off or lower my blinds a little bit. And I, hopefully we can see some clear images. Okay, I think that will work. What do you say? Mm, yeah, okay. I've already done some pre meditation and shuffling on your sign and glyph. So this will be a nine card spread. I will do one more rifle and shuffle. And we'll get to the reading. Cut the cards. Nine cards down. Here we go. The Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups. That looks really good so far, Leo. Hmm. The King of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. The Chariot. The Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Swords. What is over the whole e reading? The entire energy for the spread? The Wheel of Fortune. Let me see what I have. One court card, two cups, three pinnacles, two swords, and a major arcana. The coins represent either finances or the doing of something. Cups represent the emotional quotient, how you feel about a situation. Wands represent your passion, your focus, your determination. Swords represent thoughts, beliefs, perceptions, ideas, and communication. And of course, the major arcana are your spiritual lesson. I have two tens, two nines, two sevens, and two aces. All the tens are, are, are the, the, because it's two of everything, two tens, two aces, two sevens, two nines. To me, this is a indicative of a relationship. Doesn't matter what kind of relationship. It can be a business or a personal or romantic relationship. But it's definitely a relationship. We have even the 10 over here. And all 10s are related to the Wheel of Fortune. Right in the center, I have the Seven of Pentacles. Let me tell you how the cards are read. I almost forgot. The cards are read past, present, future. Past, present, future with the interplay of the cards. Right in the center, we have the Seven of Wands. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles. 
this card is known as waiting for the harvest to come in usually it means that you are waiting on you've been working very hard perhaps and you haven't yet seen uh, financial rewards equal to how hard you've been working or you're not receiving your accolades or your rewards but to me there's a seven of Pentacles because it's a seven and you have two of them it's a moment of questioning yourself a moment of self-doubt can I even tend that bush can I tend it do I have enough time do I have enough energy? Do I have enough mental power? So sometimes, that's why I say the pinnacles are sometimes about the doing of something, the third dimensional aspect, because at the feet, you have a pinnacle, which is this pinnacle right here. So I have a feeling that something may be offered to you or uh, some kind of offer will come your way. Now, I don't know if you are a male watching this, but court cards can behave in three different ways. They can be two different aspects of yourself. They can be uh, two different people, or it can be a person or a situation. And in this case, uh, a male, not a male figure, but a king of wands who represents Leo, so this is spread about Leo. But even if you're a female, you can take on the qualities of a male, a bit of a king. That's the airy, fire, the airy, airy part of fire. So say for instance, you've been um, handling your own business or running your own business or coming up with projects because he's known as the entrepreneurial king. But he doesn't really do a lot of hands-on kind of work. He kind of delegates out to other people. So that means sometimes that you have people perhaps working underneath you. Going across the top row, we have the Ten of Pentacles. This card to me represents a group of people who have been together a long time and they are comfortable in each other's presence. So it can indicate a family business that is very profitable. It has generational money attached to it. Maybe this can be a inheritance. But everybody knows their place. They know what they're supposed to be doing. And everybody contributes, contributes to the business or the family. You have the man, the woman, the child right there, the old man, and the two dogs. I, I don't know why my camera is not picking up. Okay. Sometimes, however, the Ten of Pentacles can represent a change in career. Like you're ending one career and going to another. So it represents the Tenth House, which is Capricorn. So it's about your status, ambition, what you want to be known for, your legacy. A natural... Um, Progression, when it, a 10 appears, it's supposed to change to uh, ace. So the natural pro progression is an ace. So that tells me that there's something new on offer or a new way of doing things, taking a new path. But it's up to you if you decide to take the opportunity. Here we, we have the 10 of cups. This card is one of the most positive tens out of all the suits because it says that nothing can detract from the meaning of it. And what we see is a family, a husband, a partners, and two kids. They're living uh, in a, got a nice house. The land is all green and verdant. There's even a river running through it. So that means that everybody has what they want. Everybody is super happy. Sometimes the card will talk about going on vacations, having a holiday, taking a trip, uh, getting being around family. 
but I always warn about this card because if you look, the Ten Cups are in a rainbow and a rainbow is illusory. So sometimes with this card, you have to think about what happiness really means and what the family unit really means. Sometimes the family unit is not just uh, a husband and wife. It's two females. It's two males. Everything is illusory. So what can appear here can be a, an illusion. Okay? Coming to the second row, I explained the King of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles. But now we look, we come to the Nine of Swords. And this card is a card about insomnia, disappointments, inconsolable sadness, uh, guilty conscience, having nightmares. I said that, I think. Insomnia, you can't sleep. And if you look, that looks like ladders. So you're climbing down into your mind. At night, you're worried about something. The story goes, this is a woman on the card who has just discovered that her son and husband were killed. And she's afraid nobody is going to be able to take care of her. But thoughts are just thoughts. Nobody controls them but you. Right? And so you have to climb out of your head and figure out what you need to do. So this is why I think the chariot comes up. It's also a seven. And like um, the seven here, a moment of pause and self-doubt. The chariot represents uh, cancer, so it has the connotation of home, homeland, family, security. But it also says that if you set your, control your emotions, because cancer is an emotional, intuitive uh, sign. If you can control your emotions, you can positively get to where you want to go look at the image the chariot is a war vehicle it's not a fast vehicle it's not a luxury vehicle it's hot dusty a long road and you have the two sphinxes the light and the dark up above on his shoulders he has two quarter moons and a canopy of the sky above his head. I don't know what's warm with my camera. Okay. And sometimes I even get the uh, message that some kind of message is going to come to you. We have the Yoni symbol here. But there is two wings above it. Like Mercury is trying to talk to you. Okay. Just control. He doesn't even have any reins to control the chariot himself. So you can see that if you control your emotions, you can get exactly where you want to go. Don't be afraid and don't let any postponements or delays stop you from doing what you have to do. Here we have the nine of cups. We have two nines and nines are a focus on completion of events. And with this nine basically just says it's a wish card whatever you wish for will come true but i have to give a warning about this card because be careful what you wish for you could be acting flippantly or uh disrespectful and the situation won't turn out the way that you think see how his hat is red and he's like resting on his laurels so be careful what you wish for Okay, and finally we come to the Ace of uh, Swords. It is the most powerful Ace of all the Aces. And when it appears in a reading, you can best believe something is going to change. It tells you so right here with the Wheel of Fortune. So, 
this could be some unsettling communications it could be about a marriage because sometimes the ring around the sword indicates a marriage or a contractual issue marriages don't always have to be a marriage between people you can sign a contract it's like a marriage that's what a marriage is it's a contract love honor and obey till death do you part so you stand up and you take vows it's a contract a public contract it also says that it is the excessive degree of everything like uh, worry anxiety fear it's pointing to this card here And finally, we come to the Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune says, it's time for you to review your life and think about your choices because something is going to change. And the best way to negate the topsy-turvy energy of the wheel is to fix yourself in the center of the wheel. That way, no matter which way it turns, you'll be okay. Sometimes the wheel turns down and sometimes the wheel turns up. So in this moment, you can be, it looks like everything's starting off fine, but suddenly something changes. And I think it has to do in one sense with financial, uh, a financial situation. And I also think in another direction that someone is rather pleased about his life I can't say it any other way than that that's the way it feels most of the time this is an intuitive reading look here you lost two cups from the ten to the I mean a cup from the ten to the nine you gain one uh, from the ten to the ace Gain one from the ace to the seven, which gives you eight pinnacles. Here you got ten swords and the single single one. But he is faced towards the past. So let me tell you what two tens, two aces, two nines, and two sevens really mean. Because there, there's more contained in the spread. so glad that I had my kept my journal somebody tried to offer to buy it from me which was stupid like I was gonna sell it but especially since I had my stroke it's hard sometimes to remember everything so I have my journal that I typed up I'm anal like that um two tens Two tens tell of a career change for the better. Three tens can suggest arguments over money matters. But since this is a major arcana ten, it indicates that a huge change is imminent. We see it right here. The number of tens, multiples, tell me in what area of life that this is going to change. So it's a relationship. It might be arguments over money matters, but it's a relationship, whether business, personal, or romantic. Um, the two aces speak oftentimes of a wedding, which can be simply a contractual issue. Two sevens tell of false friends. Let me make sure that's right. False friends, two sevens, and two nines speak to a house move or change of address. So that's it. And if you look 
because sometimes this is about traveling uh, by car. And in the background, you have this um, city. Same thing here. And you have a house. But it doesn't tell me what the actual problem is. So it suggests that maybe somebody might be moving or that they're for either a job or a career. And this card says uh, happy holidays or a journey or a trip that will make everybody happy. That's how it starts. So this can be started back in May going through June. It could be right now or it could go all the way out to October. I mean August. It depends on where you are in the story. I get the feeling that maybe some kind of uh, vacation was interrupted because someone had to take a trip. But there, there are arguments over money matters for some reason. And so I'm going to pull out the Sibylla cards on the Nine of Swords to see what is this thing that is upsetting you so. I want to see something. Hold on. I, I, I'm going to go back before I pull these cards. I'm going to see if there are any extra messages in the cards related to um, the major arcana card here. I start with the Ten of Pentacles. tells me nothing. The Ace of Pentacles. Next to the Ten of Cups brings a message that an important uni union could be a major step in your life. It may be the beginning of a long-term positive relationship with the will of fortune indicates that your hard work has paid off and you are able to receive your just rewards. It's an indication of ideas coming to positive fruition. Maybe that's what that is. Uh, Ten of Cups. tells me nothing except the realization of your own personal dreams and goals. The Seven of Pentacles. With the Wheel of Fortune. It's telling you that your intuitive powers are acute at this time and you are to use them when making important decisions regarding investments and or business ventures. Rely on your inner wisdom when making your final choice. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Nine of Cups, tells of a important decisions of important decisions to be made in regard to monetary investments and financial issues. Use your intuition as you are being prompted subconsciously. So if something doesn't feel right. With the Nine of Pentacles, I mean with the Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups, it is an indication that now is a good time to make important decisions and make good solid investments. Positive action taken at this time will lead to fruition of your goals and 
just reward for effort. And we have a Capricorn moon tomorrow. And there's usually that means a ending of a short term project. And there's another full moon, Capricorn full moon on the 21st of July, which can indicate a long term project, beginning a long term project. Go to my newsletter, uh, Tarot to Go at subsec.com. It's a free newsletter. I have an article all about it. The two moons. <coughs> now we look at the Nine of Cups. But it never tells me anything but it's a wish card. And that's kind of disappointing. <coughs> it, it's just kind of disappointing. And the Ace of Swords. I mean, I know that every card has its place in the tarot. But this card kind of disappoints me every time I see it. It doesn't give me any information. The Wheel of Fortune, next to the Wheel of Fortune, depicts a feeling of hopelessness and implies that you may be stuck in a situation you are not happy with. The message is to focus on your goals with positive intentions and do not be distracted by other options or possibilities. Is it also an indication that you may need to start over? and not be distracted by other possibilities so that you do not feel as though you are stuck in a dead end. So I'm thinking perhaps somebody offered you marriage but you have a second you are second guessing it. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. You know, you don't have to get married. <laughs> but maybe he's a wealthy individual. This king of wands. Allegretta al cuore. Happiness of the heart. But this card represents a marriage. That thing that she has on her head, if you can see it. Is a representative of a 14th century bride in Italy. It's a headdress that they used to wear back then. That's a groom and that's a brother. And Sabilas are very specific about different types of happiness. So this means happiness of the heart. The Donna Maritata, the woman with children or respect for a married woman but she always she also doesn't always have to have children but I think children are involved in the situation some kind of way and then the Pintiero so ex exactly what I said you've been offered a proposal of marriage but you're not sure if you should take it. I can't advise you that, on that. And it not just a marriage, but in everything that it entails about making that social contract, finances, doing things. I don't know. And this one is kind of if she doesn't have kids, she's somewhat independent. So, and don't forget a warning of false friends. Number 26. This is a special a card in this deck. Because it talks about the astrology or the zodiac. The hours and days seem to fly past 
when experience and emotions come hard and fast. Every soul should find their own actions, should find the should found their own actions on willpower and decisiveness. Now you are too sluggish and not reflective enough. Fortune does not smile upon the lazy. And that's what I have for you, Leo, for July 2024. Namaste.